Now let's get into a little more detail on the first part, opening read-only files as a reference. We can attach files as references and display them along with the active file. We can attach either a model from the active DGN file itself, a separate DGN file, or even files in other formats. Referencing is very useful not only for plotting purposes, but also for viewing the current design in the context of the data that is in the referenced file. While we are in this topic, let's talk briefly about making changes to the reference files, annotation scale, nesting, nesting depth, and show scale. Now, these might sound like pretty basic things, but they can be very important when referencing files and can save you a lot of trouble when dealing with a large number of files at once. Since reference files are meant to be used as read-only files, the default settings prevent us from modifying them in order to avoid accidental changes. But should you need to make changes to the referenced file in context of the master file, you have two options, exchange and activate. I'm pretty sure most of you here know what each of those options does. But just in case anyone is wondering, both options can be seen listed in the context menu when you right-click a reference file. Exchanging a reference file closes the active model and opens that reference file, while activating a reference file activates that file while the other data in the active model is still visible but in grayed out mode. The beauty of file referencing is that we don't have to hinder others' work while we use the same files for referencing purposes. The active model's annotation scale applies to annotations and references too, as long as the option is kept turned on. If you change the scale of the annotations on the sheet, the scale of the annotations in the references changes as well. Now let's talk about nesting and nesting depth a bit. When a design file used as a reference has its own attachments, they become nested references. The links between these files can be maintained through various levels or depths of nesting, so that if you open only one file, you can view the contents of many referenced files within it. The individual references can be updated and the changes will be shown in the master file. You have two options to control this. You can choose either the no nesting option or live nesting with desired nesting depth, which helps control up to how many levels of nested references attached to the model can be viewed. Finally, true scale sets the units in the active model to align one to one with units in the reference. The coordinates of the referenced model's design plane are aligned with those of the active model without any rotation, scaling, or offset. This is the most common way to attach a reference. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.